What's up guys? So today is the day. Um, I've been waiting for this firmware update to come out from DJI on the DJI Spark, um, which adds sphere mode. And what this mode lets you do, um, just push of a button, one button allows you to take a 360 degree panorama, um, an equi rectangular, and it produces an equi rectangular image right in the software. Um, is the stitching perfect? I don't know yet. Um, but we're going to see. Um, so basically what you do is you go to, to photo settings um, and you select um, panorama and then you select sphere. And um, it's kind of windy today so it might not be a perfect panorama but it'll be a good indication as to what the software does. Um, and then on a day that it's not so windy um, I think we'll have, have a good flight. Um, yeah, so let's get going. Kind of wavering a little bit. I'm going to take it up to about here. We're going to do a panorama. Drifting a little, guys. Now when it's moving, it's fine. So when you put it into panorama mode, it kind of keeps its position pretty well to take the images. Um, but it's wavering with the wind and the wind is blowing right at that building. So not too happy with that. So now we're in the lab and we are going to stitch these images together. So I got my card um, loaded in and I want you guys to see how um, the DJI Spark organizes your images. Um, so we're going to go into DCIM and check it out, guys. There's a panorama folder. So we're going to go in here. And these are the four panoramas that I did yesterday. What we're going to do is we're going to take these images, 46 images, and we're going to throw them into auto pano. All right, we're going to detect. Now, the DJS Spark took images in a different way than I take them. I usually take them in a circle and then go down and then take them in another circle. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here. Um, also, to point out, the, the DJI Spark was drifting um, in the wind, um, so not all these pictures were taken from the exact same spot, but at first glance, that looks pretty good, guys. Um, so if, if you'll notice, we've got some ghosting here. So that didn't turn out too good. So what I would do if this was a good panorama, I would go in here and I'd go into crop and I would select full sphere, hit the green check mark so that I have this full sphere. And then I'm going to render it. I'm going to just do 8,000 pixels um, because like just putting it on the web so you guys can see it, 8,000 by 4,000 is a big image. Um, I found that bigger images, um, it's hard to upload and it's not supported and all that stuff. So I'm going to do ping, uh, PNG file, and uh, we're just going to export it to the desktop it's weird that 7 is maximum alright here we go okay guys so I'm glad I didn't take the time to go in and 
and fix control points because that turned out pretty great. Um, there's just one little issue here that I can see there's that might be an issue right there. Um, and this is kind of warped a little bit. Yeah, there's that there's that warping again that I got in in the other stitch. Um, little sidewalk issue there, but for the most part, it's pretty good. So now we're going to take it into Photoshop. All right, guys. So I got the image in Photoshop. Um, one of the first thing I want to do is I want to finish out the sky. So I'm going to add another layer. And I'm going to take my eyedrop tool. I'm going to grab this color. I'm going to grab that color. I'm going to take the gradient. Go from here up. All right. And the reason I hold down the shift key and go up that gives me a constant gradient going straight up so I know that the my point and gradient from over here matches what's over here on this side so I'll have a, a good seam and I'm gonna switch the layers alright so all we got is this little kind of this little mess right here so I'm gonna go to my eraser I've got 1400 uh, pixel brush and I've got it on fuzzy so the hardness level is at zero. And what that lets me do is it lets me just come in here and paint a happy little sky. Um, but it really blends things. Okay. Then we're going to grab this layer and we're going to merge down. That creates everything on one layer. And the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to do a 3D render of this layer. So we're going to do a new panorama layer from selected layer. Yes. All right, guys. So here we have the image um, after it's 3D rendered. Um, and overall, it looks pretty good. The sky's washed out. Um, I was kind of in a hurry. Um, yesterday because the the uh, situation wasn't the greatest it was very windy and um, I was more concerned about a safe flight than I was about taking a good picture um, so when I hit it in manual mode um, what you really need to do is you need to go up in the sky look down at your subject in auto mode and then change it to manual so that your camera keeps the settings um, that it grabbed from auto. Um, but, I mean, actually the subject is looks great. So, um, it wasn't the best day to take a picture. But, uh, so, the only really issue, issues that I've seen so far is right here, if you look down at the sidewalk, it's a little messed up. Um, and then this building is kind of warped. Um, so it didn't quite get the building right. Um, but if you spend a little bit more time in uh, Autopano or your stitching software, you can go in and fix that. Uh, Microsoft Dice might do a better job at that, or um, you know, every piece of software is a little bit different. I just happen to be using for Autopano for years, so I'm pretty good at it. Um, and then I noticed. There's one other thing on the horizon that I noticed right there. So let's go in here with, I wish healing, the healing tool worked here, but it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab mm, yeah, I'm just going to grab this. We're just going to fix that seam. All right, guys. <laughs> that was easy. All right. So now we're going to go 
down. Take me out of the shot. My brush is a little too big. Um, and I think what I want to do, I want to draw a line from here to there. Uh, no. Let's do right here. And then we're going to So what that's going to let us do is it's going to let us fix this edge. So yeah, let's grab from here. And then we're going to come down here and kind of join in there. Alright, we're going to deselect it. Now we just have to fix that little guy. Alright guys, boom. It's pretty good. Alright, so then I'm just going to adjust All right, guys, and I'm sure you guys have different techniques on editing videos um, or editing pictures, um, but it's kind of neat to see different people's techniques and um, how they do things differently. Oh, something that I noticed is I'd grab these bushes and put them over here. So we're going to grab from here. Now what's kind of cool about this walking trail is gravel, so I can fake that pretty easy. Um, but yeah, took me out. Done. All right, so in 3D mode, spherical panorama, we're going to export the panorama. And that's going to export the equi rectangular in the way that we have it now. I'm just going to do it to the desktop. We're going to call it Spark Pano. And there it is, guys. That's our full panorama. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, apologize for going through it quickly. Um, but um, the images that I had to work with, I'm actually really impressed with um, the images that it took. With it being such a windy day, um, the fact that I got something like this out of it um, is pretty impressive to me. Um, I mean, the spark, if you could have got, guys, if you could have seen the spark, it was fighting the wind. It was drifting. There was a one point where it's like halfway through the panorama, it started drifting towards the building a little bit. I got a little nervous. Um, had my, my hands on the trigger ready to, to bring her down. Um, but, um, all in all, I'm pretty impressed with this. I can't wait till it's a nice uh, blue sky, puffy cloud day um, with no wind um, so that I could test this out proper. But thanks for watching, guys. And, um, I'd really appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe to it and comment on different ways that, that you guys do it. Um, have a blessed day.